getting to the Olympic Games requires enormous commitment. Uh, it, it requires, uh, I think, great character. Uh, I think it requires um, an immense amount of hard work. And, and it starts with the decision, I think, that, you know, do you want to be an Olympian and are you willing to do what is required? I think everybody that ends up here has decided that this is what they want to do. And that decision's a big one. The performance of the 2012 Olympic sailing team um, wasn't what any of us wanted it to be. And that's going to cause a lot of people to ask a lot of questions. And that's okay. That's healthy. And, you know, we welcome that. Uh, and, and my tone throughout that process, which is coming soon, you know, my tone is going to be twofold. And our whole program's attitude is going to be twofold. Um, you know, we welcome a look. There's a lot of things that need to be looked at, and it's always healthy to, to ask, what can we do better? And I think we would do that no matter what our performance had been. But on the other hand, uh, I'm also going to encourage everybody to remain really confident uh, in, in the many things that we have done well over the last four and eight years, because there's a lot of them. Um, we have made a lot of good decisions. We've made an enormous amount of progress. And, and while we're welcoming a healthy, you know, examination, I think it's also important that everybody remain confident and, 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 and mindful uh, of, of a lot of good progress that's been made. And, and these results, these two weeks, don't change that. You know, we arrived here as a team in the middle of July. We went to the opening ceremony as a team. We're packing up our containers as a team and we're going to the closing ceremony and going home as a team. Uh, you know, the closing ceremony is going to be a great um, uh, final step in this journey that we've all taken, and, and I know everybody's going to just uh, really relish the moment. You know, there's a lot of opinions about how the 2012 U.S. Olympic sailing team's done, and, and with good reason. I mean, people care about this team. People care about how this team does. Uh, a lot of people take pride in this team. And, and people have been watching us very closely. You know, we've made it easier over the years for people to follow the team, and, and that's worked because people are paying attention. Um, the team didn't do well. You know, we all know that. The results weren't what we wanted or I think what others were hoping for, which means that there's a lot of opinion out there uh, of, of what we should be doing, what we should be thinking about, what we did right, what we did not so right. Um, you know, I think it's important that people keep in mind a couple things. That... Um, a lot of things were done well, and, and, and this team did a lot of things really, really well, from the sailors to the staff all the way through. We made a lot of progress this quad, and these two weeks don't change that. And, and that progress is quantifiable in, in, a, in many ways. But I think the other thing to keep in mind is that, you know, the sailors themselves aren't satisfied. And I think you'll see a lot of them back or, or, or trying to come back for 2016. You know, we're going to take a really hard look in the mirror as a program, uh, staff and athlete. And, you know, everybody that is not pleased with our performance has to realize that neither are we. Neither are the 16 athletes that were here. And, and they're all going to take, you know, a good look in that mirror and, and, and figure out what they can do to be better, whether they come back or not. I know they're all going to take a lot of stock and they're going to learn from this. There's no question about it. We owe a great deal of gratitude to a really long list of people and organizations. It starts with the USOC, our primary partners, and they play a huge role in our daily lives. Uh, our corporate sponsors, obviously Sperry Topsider, our title partner, and we're really looking forward to a great four years with them. Uh, they're, they're an ideal partner for us. Uh, but we also have to mention Alpha Graphics, and, and their title partnership with us from 2007 to early this year was a groundbreaking one that I think opened up a lot of doors for us, and, and we also owe them a big thank you. Uh, all of our partners, Atlantis Weather Gear, Rolex, and all of our other partners are just, they've played a huge role in our growth. We, we, we need to say a big thank you to our medalist donors um, who uh, uh, sort of live in the shadows of our program and, and, and uh, sort of out of the spotlight, but we wouldn't be able to accomplish so many things without them. Uh, everybody at U.S. Sailing, the staff and the membership of U.S. Sailing play a big role with this team. And, uh, and, and, you know, we are a very happy part of the U.S. sailing organization. Um, you know, so many foundations, like the Sailing Foundation of New York and, and, and our yacht club partners, New York Yacht Club, American Yacht Club, 
Um, you know, they've created so many opportunities for our sailors, hosted fundraisers, supported our sailors directly. Um, we've got this great facility here in Weymouth, this building that's been a uh, you know, sort of a game-changing resource for us, and that doesn't happen without all of our friends out in, in San Francisco at the St. Francis Yacht Club and, and, the, and the foundations out there. Um, you know, there's, there's so many people that have played a role in what we've done, and, you know, the, the endless list of friends and family uh, of all of our sailors and our staff that have, uh, you know, supported the travel and, and, and the life-changing decisions that, uh, that this requires.